from like at the time and he wouldn't look me in the eyes he wouldn't say anything it was like he was ashamed of me and just like embarrassed <laughs> which is like how most people get about me and it was like so fucking painful <laughs> and so i stood up for myself and said what i need to say to him <laughs> and he ran away from me when i was speaking to him <laughs> and my friend was like that's humiliating like you're an she was like you just embarrass yourself and like that's pathetic for you as a black woman to do something all right guys what's going on what's going on welcome back welcome back god dog it i can't Woo! all right guys i got one for you this young lady like a lot of young ladies thinking that they the shit she's doing her ig got her hair hanging all down got her makeup on all done up and all this shit and Making yourself a 10. Also, you can run up on a dude that tell you you're a six. Now, this young lady, she hooked up with this dude and she kind of got what she asked for. But you guys need to check it out. Before you do it, go ahead and hit that subscribe, like, and notification bell because I got some more of these coming. But this ain't all about what you think, but let's keep it rolling and let's get it popping. Check this out. Can we just take five seconds? Can we just take five seconds to appreciate how fucking hot that I am? Wow. They be like, don't hurt him, Sammy. But bitch, I might. A few moments later. Like a really traumatic situation where this guy where he was just like so fucking horrible to me and he just treated me like a stupid black bitch. And it was like so painful for me and everybody was like, well, you're the fucking dumbass because you stayed and you, you're just a stupid black bitch because you let him treat you like one. All right, real quick. Why is she referring to herself as this super black bitch? And why are you looking like Miss Seeley on here crying like this? What happened to the bad chick a few minutes ago? Now you're on here looking like a whole different chick. Like, I wouldn't even think it's the same woman, to be honest. But why would you come on IG, refer to yourself as this black bitch, Stupid black bitch or whatever. Looking like this, crying. But I'm going to tell you in a minute. This is why. And, like, I know that the situation was my fault because I should have just left. But, like, it really fucking hurt because, like, I had sex with him and he basically just, like, used me for sex. He was, like, white guy in a frat. And so, basically... I ended up seeing him at Target when I was there with my old best friend, like, at the time. And he wouldn't look me in the eyes. He wouldn't say anything. It was like, he was ashamed of me and just, like, embarrassed. <laughs> Which is, like, how most people get about me. And it was, like, so fucking painful. <laughs> and so I stood up for myself and said what I needed to say to him. <laughs> and he ran away from me when I was speaking to him. <laughs> and my friend was like, that's humiliating. Like, you're an she was like, you just embarrass yourself and like, that's pathetic for you as a black woman to do something that stupid. <laughs> okay. Okay. There's a lot in this. First of all, the guy wasn't into you like that. You gave it up to him. Because you may be liking him. And to bring up that he's a white guy in the frat. Why did you bring that up? Why did you make that a point? Where you don't have a problem sleeping with white guys in a frat. So why you had to make a point that. That was this white guy that did this to me. And you keep using these strong terms like stupid black bitch. And all this stuff. But you never said he called you that. You just keep saying, that's how you feel. Hmm. But you run up on him in, in Target. And he didn't want to have a conversation for you. So you proceed to want to give him the business. And he walked off from you. 
So you don't know what to do because you used to being combative probably. Because that's how you grew up maybe thinking, well, you're supposed to go at it. You're supposed to go at it with me. But see, dudes are getting smart now. They're not doing that shit. They're just walking off from you. They're not making a scene in no fucking store. That's what y'all got to understand. So he walks off from you. You ain't nobody to argue with now. So then you come on here looking like Miss Seeley at your fucking worst crying on social media about a dude that don't give a f about you. Y'all kill me with this. What good is this going to do going on there? Would you think he going to see this and feel bad and come back and pick you up and take you off into the sunset? Fuck no. They going to pull this shit and laugh at your ass some more. Not only them going to laugh, your friends are going to laugh and everybody else on social media looking at this shit laughing. But there's more before I get really into this. Check this shit out, what she said. <laughs> It hurts so fucking bad because I wasn't even worth being looked in the eye. Like, it hurts so fucking bad. I'm looking back and that was the guy. Like, when I asked him to stop during sex, he held me down. Like, that happened a few months after the Target situation. And I was, like, telling my friends, I was like, I'm just fed up being treated like this. Now, a million to one, all you women heard one part. I guarantee you. And that was the part that he held her down. But did any of you hear the part where she said a few months after the target situation? The target situation was when she went to tell him his, her business, tell him the business, and he walked off from her. A few months later, you sleep with the dude again. And he do the same fucking thing. And now you trying to, what, tarnish him now? And say he sexually assaulted you? Really? After you keep throwing yourself on him? And I know some of you ladies, well, if she said no, if she can, then stop fucking going over there. She know damn well that man ain't assaulted her. Why you need to assault her when you keep coming giving it to him? That's what I'm saying. Stop listening to it. See, now she wants pity and sympathy. That's why she on here looking like this. Don't even like the same girl. Look at this picture right here. Look at this shit. If that was your best friend or your daughter, would y'all be saying, yeah, girl, or oh, y'all telling her, get off this fucking live, delete that shit, and don't you ever get on there and do that shit again. And stop giving up your damn body because he cute and in a frat. Now you want to, oh, he did this to me. I felt so stupid. You, yeah, you should feel stupid. But you did it to your damn self. Your friend told you in Target, don't embarrass yourself. You still do it. So it tells me you're not listening to people. If you got a pops around, you probably ain't listening to him. And like you said, you ain't told nobody the stupid shit you out here doing. So nobody know what you're doing except for a couple friends who keep telling your ass, don't do it. Listen to this. It's like every person that I would run into would do this shit to me, like take advantage of me. <laughs> and they were like, then just don't be a stupid black bitch with a fat ass. And it was like so painful for me. Because <laughs> I feel like if I tell anybody, they'll just tell me to stop being a stupid slut. And it's like, <laughs> this is like the last place. Because like I can't talk to my friends about it. Like I can't talk to my parents about this. And like my therapist doesn't understand. <laughs> People are telling you, stop being a stupid slut. Stop being a slut. So what that's telling everybody else, what the fuck you out here doing? You out here spreading your legs to everybody. And I can guarantee you all money that you done slept with more than one of these frat brothers. And that's why they're not respecting you.
And she tell me everybody do her like this because that's the only way you're portraying yourself. And that's how you approaching dudes with sex. They can't do it if you don't allow. That's why I always said, well, they can't do shit if you don't open your legs and give it to them. And I know some of you like, well, man, do that. That's only 1% of shit happening. Exception to the policy does not make it a rule. All right. Yes, there's some crazy guys out here that be forcing themselves on women. Got it. Understand it. But there's a lot of women like this out here putting herself out there and then coming on social media looking like fucking Celie from Color Purple, wanting some sympathy and crying and hoping somebody see this shit and get upset and give her some hearts and some pats on the back. What's the purpose of getting on here saying this shit? This is embarrassing by itself. Somebody should be calling her parents like, yo, your daughter is on here embarrassing herself on social media. You need to talk to her. Her friends be like, you need to take that shit down. Stop. Don't do that. See, that's why our humility, we, and, and, and Kevin Sam's always talked about it. We need to bring humility back. So y'all have no shame in what y'all doing until after you done fucked up. Then now, who knows what y'all done did. Y'all may have videotaped this shit, did it in front of his frats, did more than his frat brothers, danced in front of them. Who knows what you done did that now you got to sit back and think about that shit. But one guy who showed you he didn't want your ass and you kept going back and now you on here crying about this shit? Well, people, y'all cry over it. All I say is black people, stop coming on here looking for sympathy. Somebody forgive you and humble and, and tell you it's going to be all right when you done fucked up. Let's stop fucking up. Like I said, let's get to the point where we stop doing stupid shit. And then we don't have to come back and try to cry and humble ourselves for asking somebody to forgive us. Because once it's out there, it's out there. Ain't nothing behind that. Like you on here. And I don't even know. This video is probably a year old or something. And it's still floating around. It's an old video. But I thought it was a good teaching point because this is a year ago. And this shit is still out there, people. All right, so y'all let me know how y'all feel about this shit, man. Y'all know y'all ladies will come at me and talk shit, blah, blah, blah. Got it. Understand it. But did you understand what just happened here? Do you understand how y'all can fix this problem and stop coming on social media looking like y'all just did a fucking cast of color purple? Let's do that. All right, guys, this is JP, Mr. Nobody from The Vibe, and I'm up out of here. Don't forget to hit that subscribe, like, and that notification bell because I got more of this, but it ain't always about you. It's about everything else, and y'all take care. Peace.